Hello! You are back for yet another Cooking with Ernest Pew, and I'm happy to have you here in my kitchen today. Uh, our menu today is going to be meatloaf, my homemade meatloaf with my own little flavor to it now, okay? Meatloaf, and we're going to do fried smothered potatoes, okay? Uh, in just a second, we're going to come back and show you how we mix all of this up. But let me just go over the ingredients with you. I'm using, for the portion that I'm using, I'm using two pounds of ground beef. And I do lean ground beef so that we can try to avoid any extra fat. I do about a half of a bell pepper. I do two eggs, a half of an onion. And then, as you can see, I've got Ritz crackers. I take one of the packs of the Ritz crackers, and that's what I use uh, to kind of help keep all this stuff together. Actually, the eggs... Uh, and the uh, uh, Ritz crackers kind of help keep all of our content together. For seasonings, I'm using about a teaspoon of salt. I'm using about a tablespoon of seasoned oil. And then I mix in about two tablespoons of ketchup. And then I top everything off on the meatloaf again with the ketchup. With the potatoes, very simple. We're gonna peel these potatoes in a second. Uh, all the uh, skin is gonna come off, all the exterior are gonna come off. And then we're gonna mix in our onions. We're gonna mix in all of our salt, our seasoned oil. And I kinda put a little bit of lemon uh, lemon flavored pepper uh, with my potatoes, okay? And so it's gonna be very interesting because we're gonna fry them, but then we're gonna drain all of the grease off of them by the strainer, and then we're gonna put them back in the pot with water, and we're gonna cover them and let them steam so that we can get rid of some of the fried uh, calories that you get for doing this. Now, as I always say, I try to do a little lighter uh, meals because we wanna keep our immune systems as strong and robust as possible. But in addition to eating healthy, I want to encourage us to do vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc. Uh, recently, I've been doing a lot of study on a lot of co the COVID-19 cases, and a great deal of the cases of people who succumb to the virus have been found to have very low vitamin D. And as you know, vitamin D is very essential uh, to boost our immunity, but also it helps deal with our uh, re respiratory organs to keep them very strong. So you can Google this and kind of search on your own, but I do a lot of um, study on what's happening with the whole COVID-19. So again, vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc to kind of help us keep it and drink a lot of water, okay? So we're going to get into it. I'm excited. Okay, so we're ready to mix up our meatloaf first. Let's go ahead first and put all the meat in the bowl first. So we got two pounds lean ground beef here. I like to do lean. Okay. All right. First thing I like to do is go ahead and do all of your Ritz crackers. They're easy. So you crumble them up like so. Bring them out. You gotta get your hands dirty. Can't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Okay. I'm a southern guy, so I know I may do these recipes a little different than some, but uh, it's really good. So as you see, I've got my ground beef there. I've got my uh, Ritz crackers. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do eggs. Let's do our eggs. All right. And then we're gonna do all of our seasonings. Our salt, our season oil. Okay. Let's, you can't have a meal without onion, so let's do our onion. Okay. And uh, after we do all of our onion, we're gonna do now our bell pepper. God, this is gonna be a mess. Y'all gonna love it. Y'all gonna feel like you're southern in a minute, all right? And finally, we're gonna do our ketchup. Now, I told you we wanna hold all of this ingredients together, so with our ketchup, we want to uh, put this here so we can have our flavoring. It's all about the flavoring. As I was saying in past times, when you focus on the flavoring, you don't have to worry about so much sodium, okay? Now, this is where all the hard work takes place. You can begin to grind all of this together. You gotta get your hands dirty. See, one thing about a southern cook, you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. Now, once you get everything mixed up and combined real good, now me, I like to design mine like in a circle, like her mom do it. So she brings it all in like this, see what I'm saying? And then watch, I'm gonna do a design here. But once I get it like so, you see? So once I get everything done here, we come back and we top it off with a little bit of ketchup, okay? And this is how I do my ketchup. 
It's all about that seasoning, right? So now, you see what we've done? Now that I've got it all in this nice, I do my hands once again, and I get my ketchup because I want my ketchup to go all through the whole fiber of this, of this meatloaf, this ground beef. So you're doing that. And you really have done it. You, um, you are now ready. Now that everything is complete, all your season is there, you then take some aluminum foil to prepare it for the oven. Now that we finished everything with our seasoning, we have now sealed the pack. And when we seal this, we get ready to put this in the oven now for about 45 minutes total. But 35 minutes into the cooking process on 350, uh, 35 minutes into the process, you're going to take the, the aluminum foil off so that it cooks uncovered and then you can get it browned and you can cook the ketchup. The last little bit that you saw me do. And this is my homemade meatloaf. We'll come back in just a second and we'll see how amazing it is. Okay, so now that you have removed all the exterior of the potato, and I, get, I like to use a smaller knife. I know some people like those huge knives. I like a smaller knife because what I'm getting ready to do, I'm gonna cut these in probably thirds and fourths, cut these potatoes because it's easier to fry them. And I like all the seasonings to get through. So let me show you how I do my potato. I go down like this, and then I do like this because once again, I want all the seasoning to get through the potatoes. Okay, so I cut down the middle, and then I just start, you know, doing it in thirds or fourths or what have you. Um, once again, by the time all the seasoning gets, so you see there? Down, boom, 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 boom. Easy process there, right? Um, while this is happening, you're heating your surface to a good medium, if you've got like the numbers on the eye, I would put the numbers. If you got between one and 10, I would put it on seven. Because once you get through, there's a little bit more of the exterior that you wanna get that off. So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna be able to put your uh, seasonings in first. I put my onions and all of my seasonings in, into the grease first. You're gonna put this into a, um, a frying pan. Um, but it's all about what happens after. To me, after you've done all the frying, what you do in that last step, to me, is what secures the seasoning. Okay, it's all about the seasoning. You don't have to focus on sodium uh, when you got really, really good seasoning. We got to learn how to fall back in love with the seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I may give you a couple of secret um, trade secrets about how to make this really, really pop. But right now. I'm sticking with the whole basic. So once we get these done, we're gonna put these in a, a pan that's already preparing. The heat is already preparing for us, right? All right. So we're all done. Now we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna pour the water off of these and then we're gonna put them in a hot pan that's already prepared for us. So give me a second to get it all ready. Okay, so we are now getting ready to prepare our fried smothered potatoes. Uh, like I was saying to you, you already have your surface on a medium heat. Like I said, if you're going by the numbers, I would do on about maybe five, maybe on five. Okay, so what I want to do first with these potatoes is we want to put in our onion. So, as you can see, see that? It's coming to like a nice little, coming to a nice little fry there. So put in my onion, and then I go ahead and I put in my seasoning. Okay, because we're gonna prepare this for the potatoes. So in my seasoning, just to reiterate, I've got season oil. I've got, uh, uh, I did a little lemon uh, pepper for this one because I'm going for a different type of taste, okay? Now that you see this boil and it's already seasoning very good, let's go ahead and begin to insert our potatoes, okay? We're gonna cook these potatoes for about 25 minutes, okay? On that same medium-sized heat, you don't wanna overdo it because you want them to cook slow and for all the seasonings to get through every fiber of the potato, okay? So we're gonna just let those do what they do. Right? Meanwhile, you just check on the meatloaf and other things that you got going. I do wanna say, while we're doing that, um, that this is a very uh, good season for us. Um, 
with the whole cooking. People have been giving me some great ideas, great recipes. This, I can't remember the young lady's name. All I know is she's from Little Rock, Arkansas. And she wanted to see um, how I cooked my meatloaf. So I'm doing meatloaf. If you would like to uh, send us more of your requests of what you want us to cook, I would love to put. Now it's gonna have a Southern spin on it because I'm a Southern boy. So uh, I added to my, um, to my Southern uh, cuisine that comes from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, together, it all works together for good. So as you can see, this is coming to a nice little fry. Uh, we'll get them just a little bit brown, but I really, I'm not focusing up on them being all the way brown because remember, we're gonna add about 10 more minutes of just steaming the potatoes. So right now, uh, we're infusing it with seasoning uh, and we're gonna pour this grease off eventually after we get to about 25 minutes. And then we're gonna uh, put water about, I'm gonna do about a cup of water in the bottom of my frying pan. Uh, with nothing in it, okay? And then I'm gonna return the potatoes and all the seasonings back in here once we get rid of all the grease. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer. And hey, we, once it cools off, we're gonna eat it. It's gonna be on and cranking, okay? Uh, I do wanna say that we're in the midst of a great campaign. Uh, we are doing a, um, we're doing our, we did our giveaways on, on uh, Facebook the other night of uh, the t-shirts. We gave away five t-shirts. Thank you guys for coming on the page real quick. Now when we do this and we tell you to text, you gotta move quick because us fall, there's five per uh, persons have received their t-shirts uh, and we had them to call in. So now I want you to do the same thing with your recipes. If you are interested in sending me something, this is what you do. Uh, I'm, God has given us through the vehicle of, uh, of, of technology reasons. Uh, uh, come on and join me on my YouTube page. Leave a comment on the page when you get on there uh, about what you would like to see me cook, and I promise you. But you got to follow the page, and if you subscribe to the page, anytime we do new cooking segments, um, you will instantly know that we're in the kitchen, that something is in the kitchen happening, okay? So uh, make sure you subscribe, but if you really enjoy what we're doing, go and tell somebody else. Look, cooking with Ernest Pew is fun, uh, it's innovative, you find out what we got going on. So. Uh, we're about three Fridays away from the release of my 12th album called The Outpour Experience. So this is what we want to do. It's a brand new campaign. Let me stir the potatoes a little bit more. We want to get all that seasoning in there. Uh, I want you to, um, and I know I got to give you information on how to get it, but I want you to, um, to purchase a t-shirt that says The Outpour Experience. And on release day, Friday, uh, May 22nd, we want you to wear your t-shirt to go on, hold up, uh, let people know that you are a diehard Ernest Pugh fan and encourage them to go download and stream uh, the new CD. And if you play, if you got the CD already, have the music playing in the background when you do your video. I'm gonna post all of these videos to my social media. So uh, I will send you, as a matter of fact, if you're interested in a t-shirt, I'm gonna send out a text message. Text the word OUTPOUR, O-U-T-P-O-U-R. Text the word OUTPOUR to 21,000, two, one, and three zeros. And, and we're going to send out something in the next couple of days to let you know how you can go to a landing page and actually purchase your CD as well as a t-shirt. We're going to do bundle deals. I'm not sure exactly what the bundle deal is going to entail, but I know it's going to be great for you. But above all, you will have your t-shirt, and on release day, you'll be able to floss. You know what I'm saying? So let's give this a little bit more time, and um, we're gonna come back in just a second, a little bit more chopping it up with you, and then I'm gonna let you see the process of me pouring the grease off of this and getting ready to steam it, all right? Hold tight. Okay, as you can see, my potatoes have cooked. I'm now draining them. As you can see, I'm draining them into a pot. And I'm doing that because you want your grease to actually be cool before you pour it down the sink, okay? So that you don't have damage to your pipes, all right? So now that we have drained it, I'm gonna follow, follow me. I'm gonna now go over and put these same potatoes with all the seasoning still intact into my pot. Okay, we have now drained our potatoes and free of all the grease. What you do, your eye, once again, is on medium. Your surface is on medium. You pour about a half a cup of water. And I'm getting ready to give you some of my trade secrets, so this is very this is very confidential, okay? Now you're gonna take about a half a stick of butter and you're gonna put this in with this water and just let it melt. But while it's melting, you go ahead and you uh, 
Now we're gonna place the potatoes back into the pot of the water and the butter, okay? You don't need a whole lot of heat because we're gonna just allow this butter to melt and as that's, ma that's marinating, you go ahead and you cover your potatoes with all the seasonings. Oh my God, they smell so good. But you cover them and you let them simmer for about another 10 minutes, okay? And then you'll take them off the surface, let them cool, and you'll be ready to eat, okay? But hold one time, hold one second. We still gotta bring our meatloaf, okay? Hold tight. Okay, so there you have it. You have my homemade meatloaf along with fried smothered potatoes. And as you can see, our presentation is just as important as the taste of your food. And so we are now going to go over into my, my formal dining room and we're gonna see how good I did. All right, see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've done it. I don't like to toot my own horn but I feel like we've done something spectacular. I have shared with you um, like trade secrets of my homemade. So, I mean, we're closer than you think we are. My homemade uh, meatloaf and my fried smothered potatoes. So I'm gonna sample them. Now again, full disclosure, I always do wine with mine because why? I'm gonna have, that's right. Got yeah, issues with ulcerative colitis and thank God it's in remission. Uh, so I want to just highlight the fact that I have my bell peppers, I have my onions, all the seasonings that I put in it. Uh, and then I topped off my potatoes, as you saw, with a half a stick of butter. I don't use margarine, but I use butter because of the flavor. So that means when you get to the gym, you got to work out extra hard, okay? Here we go. Mmm. Like I said, if you fall back in love with seasonings, it doesn't even matter if you've got salt in there. Potatoes, I want you to, they're very tender. Mmm. Now I can taste everything. I can taste the seasoning. I did, I did a lemon pepper, um, uh, pepper on these potatoes and the butter. So this is really, really, really good. I can't get like real country eating. But while I'm sitting here, I do want to say, um, any recipes that you do want me to try, go to my YouTube page. Follow me. Above all, subscribe to the page. Let me know how you're enjoying our Southern cuisine cooking. Uh, you may even, a young lady the other day gave me a very good um, idea of what I can do when cooking um, my meats. If you put a little sage in there, like with my turkey and dressing, which I'm gonna do. And in a couple of weeks, sage puts a very good finishing touch for your palate. This is so good. And as I've been saying, I'm trying to do the lighter foods because we do not want to overwhelm our systems with breaking down a whole lot of heavy meat and things of that nature. So I'm doing simple things like potatoes, meatloaf. This is good for a midday meal, but it's a very, very good choice also for a dinner when you don't want to overdo it, okay? Earlier, I had on there some spinach. If you want to take a little bit of oil um, with that spinach and just kind of uh, steam it a little bit, it would go perfect. I don't have anything green, so if mommy was here, she would get me. But this is a very good meal. I'm not gonna let y'all see how I really get down when I eat. So uh, I'm gonna cut these cameras off and I'm gonna eat. But thank you so much for sharing with us. Share this video with other people. Uh, once again, um, I do want you to let me know if you want to uh, be a part of our big re uh, release day promotion with the t-shirt. Everybody's going to wear the Outpour t-shirt and they're going to just, you know, celebrate what God has done. It's 12 CDs uh, that I've released and this is on May 22nd. So you have to text me, text the word Outpour to 21,000, so two, one, and three zeros. 
text me and let me know that you want to be a part of the promotion on release day and we're going to send out a, a text message to let people know um, how to go to their landing page and how to purchase the t-shirt so that you can be with us to stand with us, stand with us on release day again today we had meatloaf and fried smothered potatoes god bless you we'll see you next time